Hey, no, we're gonna touch fingers. Calbert, are you ready? Uh, as about as ready as I'll ever be. All right, Lamb, are you ready? Uh, that's my best impression of Robot Lamb. Lamb bony. I'll bone your knee. God, I hate this background image. I think Lamb might have died it. again. Well, Tate, are you ready? Uh, does having my yep, dice ready again. to roll ready? Who died, Lamb? died again? God damn it. Yeah. Anyway, what'd you say, Tate? You ready? Yeah. Jared, you good? Yep. Noah? Mostly. Demois? I'm good to go. Alrighty. Is AJ around? She is not. Damn. AJ, no. Come back. Miss you. I invite you to the fiction dance. <laughs> Welcome back again, Lamb. Do we have a calendar for only time Lamb's DC? No, but we could, no. we could make one. We should. Four. So. So. Would a fan fiction... That gets you hot. Be a fan friction. I was gonna put it on top of Lamb. I, you know what? That works. I was going to put it on the other table, but since yeah, Lamb is not here, we'll go and put it there then. <laughs> Lamb, you've been replaced by a counter. Should we uh, retroactively add four? I'd say yeah. Let's put it at four right now, but I also want to try and make it a little bigger. <laughs> Oh so, my. Who will be the keeper oh. of the counter? Hello, Noter. Why are you in I just realized now? I was spinning it, not making what? it bigger. Oh, no, I'm stuck in this accent. He's always that accent. <laughs> this last week. Just this last week? Manly. Oh, by the way, uh, Tate, the boys, you guys want your channels actually linked today? Because I keep fucking forgetting about that ability I could have on. Yeah, I, I did it earlier, but I was gonna do it again right now. Dude, I forgot we can link the chats. Hell yeah, do that. I also this is forgot a feature that, that I made... only works for smaller chats. I also forgot that was a fucking uh, personal command that is not set up for actual channel operators to use. <laughs> Mainly because if you use it for a bigger there, channel, I have Katie it. Katie K bot might end up being timed out. Uh, n not maybe. He he would actually end up getting global banned for eight hours. Global. <laughs> That's fun. A along with me, because shared IP address. <laughs> and Tate just lefts. How the hell do you add Four to lamb those? counter. I feel like they just turned the TV off. Is my internet just fucking so... Oh, wait, no. Back they turned it back on. Maybe no, that's channels. just that's just how those companies work. You're like nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, it's here. No, no, there it went. It came, it went. Well, usually I only get spikes when I disconnect and reconnect. Got to do the plus. Of course, I did. <laughs> yes, you did. All right, so if we're all ready to recap last time, now that you finally got into the tournament, you had, uh, in terms of everything that happened and ended, um, you had Calb and Demois go to sleep at the end of the night. Jared's character continued to watch the current party that's in the room, which happens to be Tate drunk lamb becoming in tr uh tate activating the thing on lamb and uh <laughs> noah's character is very happy from also drinking uh you were talking with a dwarf and all in all you tate or no wait somebody lost the first one tate lost the first and uh who is it? Noah won the second? Yep.
Because moving targets are easier to hit. Yep, and that's where we ended right there for uh, <laughs> Shut day the fuck one. The <laughs> ten foot target, and it's immobile. What the fuck, me? So uh, we start the night please. then with, uh, I guess the four that are in the room. So, Lamb. Again, you are more or less entranced into attraction towards Tate's character. Tate, your character is what drunk. And uh, Noah, your character is just happy and enjoying life, while this dwarf <laughs> is also happy and enjoying life next to you. And Jared's character is just watching this go down. <laughs> so, with all that being said... I assume Tate probably makes the first move on what's going to be role-played here. Go for it. Huh? What? Poop me? Yeah, what do you do? You got drunk, your character activated your little charm and entranced land. And then what do you do? the rape begins. <laughs> no, no, no. See, there's a theme with this I want to go with. Okay. And the rape begins. Damn it, Lamp. <laughs> that was the weirdest breathe in ever. Like, robot, by the way. So, uh, what, what, what was your character's name, Lamb? Or should I just call you Lamb for the ease of uh, character? Do we really care? I do. It's like, no, I do. Her I... close or fell. Yeah. That's yeah, I'm the calling actual you name. Lamb. I'm just asking if we care. Cal cares. If you care, say the character. If you don't, say the player. But when your character is actively talking, you should actually say the character He's name. The character. Right. But if you're Personal. just saying, if you just say, like, I'm going to pass something, you don't have to say, I'm going to pass it to Orthro. You can say, I'm going to pass it to Lamb. Orthro. But if you go up to his character, you can go, So, Lamb, you got to go, So. I don't know if you have a pet name or you use a nickname or you just say his last name or first name or you say his full name. That's up to you on how your character acts on that. It's like so sexy. How you doing? No, no, no. <clears throat> okay. What's well, so up, sexy? How you doing? What's <laughs> up, sexy? How you doing? God damn it. No. And then, hey, hey, You don't go Batman. You go more of a hate. <laughs> How you doing? I have the voice of Dr. Girlfriend from Venture Bros. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. You can imagine it as closer to Kenny Boots because uh, this is Tabletop Simulator. God of reality. Anyway. Come on. Hello. Hello, Monsieur Elfoy. It's been a while. Um, we're you? doing D&D. &D. I'm on Tabletop Simulator. This is a weird introduction to D&D <laughs> for this person, then. Hello, Monsieur right. Elfoy. It's been a while since we met. How have you been? I am feeling a little bit, uh, a tipsy. How about you? <laughs> Perfect response. <laughs> that is my mother texting me. God damn it. Uh, about what? I don't fucking know. She's asking where I am. But, um, um, be like, I'm in bed. It's 1 o'clock in the morning or 12 o'clock, depending on where you're at. She is about to knock on my door. Problems. Hold on. Let me. Like, it's shirt. okay. Well, while Lamb well, deals with that, what are you confused about, Kodo? Indeed. Why are you confused? Kelps, it's uh... D it's it's D&D 3.5. Um, Humbro. It's mainly 3.5. It's slightly Humbro. I keep coughing. 
Hello, Monsieur. No problem. But yeah. Hello, um... Monsieur Void. How are you? It's been a while since we last met. The kind of catch you. Um. Lamb, would you like me to control your entranced character? <laughs> Uh, no, well, I'm just either waiting for the inevitable knock on my door or to get a text back. Um, gotcha. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Not the happiest, but I'm better. As is Tate knocking on. <laughs> oh, I should be. I think you should definitely be happier. Hey, Dorpy, Dorpy, we need another round of drinks for my friend here. Is this going to be your character's new voice, Tate? No, just the possessed voice. You're not possessed. That's a, you didn't read my just fucking story. Just super drunk voice. That's his um, multi, um, second personality. He's not possessed. Having multiple personalities, Tate. Yeah. Right, that, that Tate. That, more it might change your personality, but you're not possessed. This item isn't a demon. <laughs> Those are other items in this uh, world that you'll find. Maybe. Okay. Good. Maybe. <laughs> No, oh, so you're not, not gonna you, go with. I'm gonna force gonna them go to maybe the, uh... make you party kill each other. You didn't. You didn't I'm read an my uh, back. You didn't read the backstory for that. Damn. I didn't read it all, Tate. No, I've been a little busy. Oh With yeah, real life. Right. Being married. Be married. <laughs> He's yeah, real being life. married <laughs> and owning a house and <laughs> working a job. Damn. And, and then having to deal with you, and you know, and that's like. Two hey. full-time jobs right there, dealing with you. Hey, shut the fuck up, just because I killed you, like, four. multiple times. I don't disagree with that, Marcus. Exactly. <laughs> I, I think you're being generous with that two-time full job there, Marcus. Wow. So rude, all of you? Anyway, come on, it's, I, I want to get to the actual campaign, so... <laughs> decide what's gonna happen with this roleplay of a drunk Tate and a trans to Lamb... And, uh, well, basically drunk Noah, but it's, uh, well, yeah, hey, I, 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 I saved I, I did every to the fort. Door. I did turn to the door, and I was like, Dorfee, Dorfee, we need another drink for my friend here. All right, you went up to the barkeep and got another drink? No, I asked the dwarf to get it. Oh. All right, this is the last one, though. I think he's closing up. The... The, the dwarf gets up, and, uh, one minute. Somebody have the Jeopardy theme song, like, randomly evoked, bum, except for right now, because he did say a minute. Alright, he gets bum. up, he stumbles, uh, eventually gets to the bar, kind of leaning over, asks for a drink, the barkeep kind of just gives him a look. He takes out double what it looks like the barkeep asked him. The barkeep totally gives him a drink, and he walks over. Uh, he has one for all four of you again, and it's a very yellow-looking liquid. I don't totally think I can sense. discern... I don't think I can discern this liquid from anything else other than ale. This, li this isn't in, like, a cup. This is kind of like... A double shot. Well, my character's probably downing it. I'm saying bottoms up to Lamb. Alright, Tate Floyd, drinks it. Noah, do you drink and it? And Foy bottoms up. I'll take it and chug it down real that's, quick. That's okay, Bronco. Alright, so we both drink you, it. You Lamb, can do you drink it? Want, oh my god. Your, your in trans that. character that just got a drink from Tate's character. I got shot. And as a player, you the know exactly starts. what's what he's going at at you. Do you have your character drink this? Bah, bah. I'm just waiting for the text message sound. Wow. Unless his mom went to the door and right now he's talking to her. Problems. Fucking eleven. They're all the same. I'm gonna drink, eat some grapes. Oh, he dis he got disconnected. I'll take control of his character for now. He totally <laughs> drinks it. And a yeah. roll. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to say in fucking day channel. Fuck you, Marcus. What, I board? object. Yeah, that's true. But oh well. He drinks it. And oh, he, he said five. Oh, yeah, what five? five? 
The, what, what, lamb? <laughs> I'm guessing you rolled. What's that, lamb? What's a five? Probably rolled. Now that oh, or is that D DC counter. DC counter. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> okay, so you do? Do you? You drink the drink, yeah? Well, I haven't for like the last five minutes because all I've been here here was heck. Let. All right. Well, <laughs> Tate. <laughs> Tate got another drink, or yeah, got another drink from the dwarf. I got the dwarf to drink it. He asked the dwarf to get him a drink. He got one, and the other three, except for you, are drinking it. Are you also drinking it with them? Not if I. I don't have to. <laughs> Roll me a willpower real quick. Or here. What's your willpower? Yeah, um, I have a plus two to wisdom saves. Plus four against enchantments. You do not have to. You got a 20 on it. Come on, yeah. man. We're all taking a drink. Don't leave us hanging here. <laughs> So you're like, I don't want to. And you have Nose character going, come on, just do it. Come on. <laughs> and my character's yeah. like, come on. You Keep in mind, your character has now become, uh, I'm using the word entranced, but that's not quite the right word, to Tate's character. Charmed. Charmed, you could say. I'm already. Come over here, baby. I need your soul. Do, do, do in the end, do you resist it, the lamb? I'm going to try to. Okay, he goes. I don't really want to, but nevertheless, Tate and Noah, go ahead and roll me a uh uh fort save. Hey, I'm finally getting drunk here. What'd Only two crap ton of them. I got eight. Eighteen plus two. God, if you look at dwarf oh, at this I point, gone through like my, six uh... ales. Well, considering you're both drunk and the minuses you get and the drink, I didn't tell you what it is. No, you both fail. So did the <laughs> drink. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. You guys are both at the point now that you're no, you're not. Uh, gonna have a nightly recovery. You're having a hangover in the morning. Woo! Tate, I don't know oh, why I you're saying it. woo. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Oh, come on there, boy. I'm gonna put my hand on his shoulder and hold the drink up to his nose. This is some good stuff. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> am I actually just able to get up and leave? Oh, uh, roll me a willpower again. Alright, hang on. Yeah. Someone roll <laughs> a willpower for him. I think at this point, uh, we'd all be passing out by now. Damn. Seventeen. You man. maybe Noah probably not, and the dwarf definitely not. Oh, you guys are still sitting. Uh, yeah, Lamb. No, you're able to resist it again. Uh, to kind of fight back, but you have the urge to want to tell Tate's character that you two are gonna head off to your bed. Oh God damn it. Like, you're like, no, come on, we need to go now. And then the rape begins. It's not rape if it's consensual. <laughs> but it's not you. consensual if it's powered by magic. I know. But that's <laughs> Tate's character scene, it seems like. Let's, let's, end, let's end it with a good pass out. Because I don't think my character is very tolerant right now of alcohol. So... Do you do you, do you go with your your feeling of telling her we need to we need to stop drinking? Yes. All right, Tate. What do you do? I probably say, but the the party's only just begun. Roll me a willpower. Point. And probably pass out. Hopefully. Sorry about that. Phone hit the desk. No, you listen to Lamb's every word. And uh, as you stand up... Noah, do you also stand up? Uh, I will. Alright. Noah, as you also stand up, I want you both to roll me a fort save. 
while you're doing that, Jared, what are you doing? You now see their ending for the night. Does your character decide to get up and go do whatever, or is he staying here again, or what's he gonna do? I am gonna do. at least watch them try and get up the stairs. Are you just putting a notebook down now? You like the life and adventures of these fleshy beings? <laughs> Looking Most at the world moment, through, yes. you're gonna become a, a author, the first Warforge author, and the book is called "Looking at the World Through Synthetic Eyes." <laughs> that actually, I'm drawing like pictures of them like a robo that sounds like an, in all That sounds like a fucking sounds, indie game. In all honesty, it sounds like a genuine book that would be on a bestseller. It, yeah, you could do that there, Jared. You could it absolutely write this book like idea and that could be set up for story. your character to make gold. Like me, with crafting. Right. <laughs> so much Fucking gold. crafting. Nevertheless, uh, what'd Don't you get on your entrance. roll? 13 plus 2, 15. And Noah, what'd you get? 19. 19? Uh, Jared, you are... Or, not Jared. Noah, you are... Stumbling, but you can sort of get your way to your room if that's your destination. Um, it's taking a lot of effort and crawling and holding back some vomit. Tate, as soon as you get up, you basically just limp onto Lamb's character. Lamb, you, you probably allow this because of the intent and because of However, the charm. However, hold on. Checking a thing? Yeah, all of us. Okay. Um, if, if I had a high enough strength, I probably would have actually picked her up. Well, here's how I'm going to consider it. My character is pretty much... Just, just keep it PG. My character falls asleep. No, that that is what's happening, Tate. Your character is passing out. That's what I'm checking right now, because you failed. Good. The witch? I want, I want to keep to the, witch, the uh, consistency. Bewitched, I guess that would be a good term for what Lamb is right now, yeah. Um, Jared, basically, uh, you see Noah's character just kind of crawl his way away. The dwarf laughs, gets up, and just stumbles around until he eventually gets outside. And you see Tate's character just limp, lump onto Lamb's character. Lamb, what's your, never mind, I have it right here. Strength is 11. That's what I was checking earlier. <laughs> Shit. Uh, falls on to Lamb, and they fall over. Damn it. You go help, Jared. Yeah, I think I'll help. Alright, roll me a strength real quick. Nine. You're able to pick up Tate's character off of Lamb and kind of like limp her off to the side, but you're definitely not going to be carrying anyone with that role. <laughs> well, at least I'm still sober. No, you're not. So Wait, did you even have a drink, Lamb? Yeah, he had a few. I had like one. And oh, yeah, that was yeah, like that's, the You had one and you didn't get drunk from it. So yeah, you're sober. Yeah. You're just you're just uh, you uh, bewitched by Kate's character, from. and you really don't want her to be stuck here. So you and Jared could work together without really needing to make a roll to lift her to the room. I'm passed out now, by the way, entirely. Or continue that. At this point, since you guys are mainly dragging a lady to her room. You can sleep south. Uh, they didn't say they are doing that. Lamb, Jared, are you taking her off to the room? I am checking the thing real quick. My character in this state would not allow someone else with, as I understand, is a man, because we've heard him talk, right? And it's a male yeah. voice. And you don't know what he is yet. Yeah. But, but I've heard a male voice through this thing, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So, As I, like, run over to keep her from falling over, I'm saying, can I help you with her and steady her up? I, um, I just did a completely unrelated role, or 
point related role, by the way. Um, that guy is not to be happy with you trying to put hands on her right now. <laughs> because bewitching. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he's just going to be like, no, I think I got this. And then more If you think checks. so, but I'm here if you need any hand. If you need any hand. If you need a hand. <laughs> uh, my tongue doesn't he struggles, work. <laughs> he struggles and falls over, but gets yeah. back up and is able to make his way to the room, but very slowly. Like, you're watching him, like, take a step, steady himself. Take a step, steady himself. You know what I fucking love about this? My character's not going to recall Jared. Lamb's character's not going to recall Jared. Yes, I am. But we, we probably... No, we're going to recall him, but we probably, like... Why didn't he drink? Why, why isn't he drunk? We're not going to know that. Okay. Anyway, so Jared's character to, essentially can't get, get drunk. To the room. Uh, Noah, I, you basically just crash on a bed. Make me a fort save real quick again. <laughs> Noah, you're in the four chan sleeping position. Noah, you vomit. That's a curse tave. of gate four. Yeah, right you over side of the bed. Does the other person in the room happen to hear it? Um, Demois and Kelbor, I believe, in the same room, right? I thought... No, it was me and Jared. Demois and Jared. Demois. Demois was with you, Noah? Yeah, yeah I was in Noah. Uh, no, Demois's character is sound asleep, so he probably wouldn't hear you. He's just gonna see something disgusting when he wakes up in the morning now. <laughs> that sounds um, wrong. <laughs> yeah. Lamb, you finally get to you and Tate's room, and what do you do? Do you throw her on the bed, or set her in the bed, or how do you deal with this? S setting her if I'm still in butched, and throwing if I'm not. Alright, you're still in, in witched, so you lay her down, and you tuck her in, and you feel so proud of yourself, and you go lay down in bed, you have a thought to yourself, oh, I should have put a bucket next to her, so you put a bucket next to her in case she vomits. Tate, roll me a fort save. 11 plus 13. Eleven plus two. Um, roll me just a d20. Just roll a d20. Eighteen. Amazing, an eighteen. You vomit directly into the bucket, and uh, yeah. <laughs> if you roll lower than a ten, I was gonna say you miss. Dead better than the just vomit right shot. next to it. Um, That's fine. But she vomits right in the bucket as you're starting to go asleep, and you're just so proud of yourself for taking care of her, and then you basically pass out yourself. The following day, <laughs> everyone wakes up. Wait, Marcus, well, before this happens, what happens to Jared's yeah. character right now? Jared, what do you do over the night? <laughs> I'm going to actually use my room, and I'm just going to kind of sit in a corner thinking to myself so that I'm not outside before my competition night. So do you actually go in your room, sit on the bed, and just like stare at Kelb's character? I just kind of stare, not necessarily at him, just just like a distracted person, just, just kind of into nothing. Okay. I just... I just like this idea of Kel <laughs> Kelp's character wakes up, he looks to the side, and there's just this <laughs> fucking me like wooden metal mask staring at him, not blinking. He's like, how long have you been doing this? <laughs> Eight <laughs> hours. <laughs> <laughs> I lost count to four hours. <laughs> just kidding. I don't lose count. Seven hours, 59 minutes, 61. <laughs> uh, for si 41 seconds. 42 what, what? seconds. 43. Count's, char Count's character is just like... 61 what seconds. The, what the hell is... Yeah, yes, it is. Mixed I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Count's character is just like, what the hell is a second? Like, what are you even talking about? Does time even exist? Yes, Tate, time exists, but not quite the way we have it, in a sense. Wait, my character needs to look on him, not suggestion, so I can just whip for the people in their sleep. <laughs> Marcus, are, are there actual, like, watches or, like, clocks to any extent in this universe? Uh, there might be, like, the old sundial-esque clocks, but there isn't, like, mechanical clocks, necessarily. Okay. 
it could theoretically be invented because to an extent there's magic tech to an extent i mean Jared, look at Jared's, Jared's character the, uh, but that Jared's would take, be the one who invents that it. would be some pretty mid to late game not so much early game or you'd have Jack, to find Jared's someone that's you know a really powerful character that hasn't shared his knowledge and convince him to share his knowledge alternatively i become a master crafter and a nope you can try <laughs> Anyway, so, that's what Jared's character does as he sits there and contemplates over different things. And, uh, morning comes by. And we'll start with Kelb. Kelb, you wake up, and that's what you see. Is his character... Where exactly are you looking? You have, to your left... Well, you have the door, Kelb's bed, or the window. Those would be basically the three walls, or your bed. That would be the four walls, in a sense. You could also be looking at the ceiling or the floor, Marcus. Like, come on. Uh, fair enough. That's true. <laughs> Maybe a table in the room, a chair. I, I don't know. There's plenty I'm of things. What are you looking at? I'm like? on the bed, facing towards his bed, but looking more towards the floor. He's All right, standing so that's what on the you wall, see. looking at Kelly. Well, that's creepy. And he's slowly Someone's sitting on their bed, looking down at the floor below you. He slowly <laughs> turns to look at you. Good morning. Shut up, Tate. <laughs> no, he doesn't say good morning, he says blah. Well, I mean, Jared's character could go to, into sleep mode, and when he wakes up, it plays a Windows 98 um, uh, thing. Why 98? Why not 95? <laughs> well, I, I was, don't know. I was thinking Inception for some reason. Macintosh. <laughs> Fucking Max. Windows Big NE. Mac? Windows ME, god damn it, don't, don't give me a start on Windows ME, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, let's not go down that route. It's Windows for me, and Windows for you. Hey, if you've never experienced I've Windows experienced ME... The moist, we, we just said not to go down the road. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so what, what, what does? What, 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 what does? Me? Yeah, what the, does? Uh, I does wake up. All right. Uh, obviously, um, I would probably notice Jared's character after a moment of looking around the room, wondering if he actually showed up. Upon noticing him, I would ask how long he has been awake. Always. <laughs> so, Jared, long what do enough. You say? I don't need him to sleep. <laughs> Damn monks. <sighs> That would be a little weird to your character, Kel, that he says, I don't need sleep. He said, I don't need much sleep. Marcus, oh, to be fair. my bad. You, you did say that, right, Jared? Like, I didn't mishear you there? Correct. Okay. So, no, that wouldn't be weird to me, Marcus. No, so that shut up. That wouldn't. I thought he said no sleep, not, not much sleep, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't not not need much sleep? Yeah, yeah. Where were we? Oh, right. Uh, ask you, right. Um, I see. Would you uh, like to go out and get some breakfast? Sure. This breakfast sounds interesting. What do you mean, this breakfast? <laughs> I like trying new things. Tell, tell me more about this concept of breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Cal's on the in the first place. What really is breakfast? <laughs> I have to think long and hard about breakfast. Wait, you mean you guys have words for eating time? <laughs> what about a living Wait, what? Jared, you said that so fucking fast, I don't understand. <laughs> Elevensies? Uh, oh. that's when called... the hobbits are asking about the meals. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's in between second breakfast and third <laughs> snack. Jeez. Wait, you guys don't drink oatmeal? <clears throat> anyway, so... anyway, back on track. 
So yeah, Jared, what do you mean this breakfast? Well, the term is new to me. I uh, the the food itself, I don't think I've had this breakfast before. Eggs <laughs> and ham. <laughs> He grew up poor, okay? What have you been living off of, then? Bark. <laughs> Just small things, whatever looks interesting. I see. <laughs> I like how we're all so terrible at being conspicuous. Or inconspicuous, I don't fucking know. You, you would think they would, like, program some minor, like... Adaptation programming in, J in Jared's character. It's not programming. Well, Jared has, that's yeah, not. That's uh, not no, how these he, work. He's essentially a true AI. A true AI. He'd probably learn. Maybe I shouldn't be like breakfast. In a sense, Tate, he's exactly like you with being like you. Shut up. Well, I, I would so imagine you Jared's character would have learned. Is? about what I had asked being a little odd with this wording. Again, I would imagine that to be the case. Um, Potentially. You said we are getting free breakfast in the bar area? Yep, down in the bar you guys are served free breakfast uh, because the game time takes place uh, after breakfast. So that's why they serve it free, just like you get beds for free. Okay. I might DC again. I'm, I'm gonna try and open tabletop. I was waiting for it, Lamb. And you might see some text on the counter on your thing. I don't know how much of Tate's stream you've seen. Anywho. Well, I, I just have it for the chat at this point. Mm. Uh, anywho, I say to Jared's character, well, let's get up and head out to the bar. Get some grub. Sounds good. After you. I proceed to go through the door down to the bar. Presumably with Jared behind me. Demoise, are you speaking? Who? Demois. I haven't heard Demois talk. Or no. I'm here. I, I they're here. It's just their turns yet. Oh, yeah, God, this I'm... head is fucking killing me. I was I was making the meals for the day. First breakfast, second breakfast, lunch, dinner, dinner, supper, midnight snack. You know the the core meals of the day. Core meals. Those are like the base base core meals. You're forgetting so many. Anyway, um. So <laughs> you as another distraction point, get, you two head off to go get your uh, breakfast. Meanwhile. Uh, Demois and Noah in your room. Demois, you wake up. Noah, roll me a fort save. Meanwhile, I noticed people in this image I had not noticed before. Hello, people. I know. <laughs> They're watching us. 17. Alright, you wake up. Don't throw up immediately. Uh, hey. Demois, as you wake up, roll me a spot. Okay. God damn it. Roll a one. <laughs> By the way, Lamb had crashed again. He put in the count uh, and Tate's thing yep. six. So yeah, I just awesome. raised it to six. <laughs> Wait, was Lamb actually able to type that or did someone change the text to red? And Lamb was in here and he typed it. So, What'd you get on your uh, into thing? The wall. I was doing math. Um, so, 24. God, I hate the text tool. Uh, you absolutely see the vomit on the floor. Roll me a willpower. What the hell are you having him roll a willpower for? To not vomit himself. Would that even be in Demoise's character to vomit at the sight of vomit? I don't know. What, Demoise? Would your character like to wake up and see vomit? Um, I, well, I grew up in like blood and guts and gore, so it probably wouldn't faze me. 
I wouldn't say you necessarily raised up in blood and guts and gore, but you probably well, saw blood and guts and gore. Well, you know what I mean. I saw a lot of blood, You're, guts, and gore. You, you want more guts and gore? I, I, I don't know, that's what I'm asking. Me, personally, when I see vomit, I have to hold back vomit. But, I mean, me me personally, I don't, I don't know I don't. so much as my I character. Do. I, I'll roll it regardless. Shitty Marcus and his weak stomach. I mean, this is also, you know, six-hour-old vomit, too, so probably smells. Prob well, I'll just go for it. I'll roll it. I mean, it didn't smell beforehand because of all the fucking alcohol. Oh, it probably smelled before, too, but his character was asleep. And you said Will, correct? He did. So, 15. Yeah, no, you're fine. Um, you wake up and you see the vomit, and... Yeah, that's... That's how we start with you two. Waking up, feeling horrible, Noah, and Demois seeing the state Noah's clearly in. Oh, yeah. Fuck, how does that dwarf do it? Hey, I don't think I'm gonna fuck someone's gonna be wise. Yeah. Well, they're gonna be messed at you, aren't they? Hopefully, none of them have anything to do today. I know I've got free. Ow, my head. <laughs> For some reason, it can be heard on my stream, so give me just one second here, guys. What, me here on the stream? That's fine. Marcus, Pikachu brings up a good question. Is it hot and humid? That way the vomit festered. This would be, uh, summer, so I guess? <clears throat> this would be, this time frame would be roughly <laughs> mid-summer to late-summer. Kinky Joe, asking the real questions. Welcome back, Lan. Yeah. Uh, no, the time we're taking like half of what's happening. <clears throat> uh. Um, Kelb and Jared woke up. Kelb asked Jared a question. His character gave an odd that. answer, and then they went to that. go get. Yep, they went to go get food, and now Demois and Noah woke up. Demois saw that Jared was not, or so. Demois saw that Noah's character woke up in not the best of uh, uh, states, and Noah's character was basically like, "Why?" Um, what if he lost um any HP? I don't think so, but just a no, he no. wouldn't have lost any HP, but. He's currently suffering at a minus, but considering his character isn't doing anything for the day, the hangover really isn't going to affect him all that much. Same with Tate's character. Okay, so I'm not even bothered telling him what their minus is, unless they decide to actually do stuff. Okay, I was more so thinking about, like, what I need. Like, a heal would help him any whatsoever. I guess not. Not for AP, no. Okay. I think I'm gonna head down and see if they got anything down there for fucking hangovers. They're gonna give you straight. They're gonna give you straight yeah. fucking coffee More grinds and alcohol. be like, eat it. Chew on these for a few hours. You'll feel maybe better. Ooh, nice. Can get. Anyway, so Noah's character gets up, gets ready, and heads downstairs. Um, do you step around the vomit, Noah? Yes. Okay, fantastic. What do you do, Demois? Do you also get up to go get food and whatnot? Um, probably not. After seeing vomit, maybe I don't know. I'm really not sure what I would do. Um, That's up to you. Personally, like I said, I have, I kind of have to fight back vomiting. When I see vomit, and it's not that hard, it's just I do have to swallow back a minute, but I can eat immediately afterwards. Yeah, um, I'm just thinking more so my 
character <clears throat> than myself personally. Like personally, I wouldn't like personally as a person, I wouldn't be able to eat after seeing someone throw up. Um, I'd probably just eat lightly. So yeah, I'll go to the dining hall and like get like a few things to eat. All right, so you head on down to, and then as you guys exit the room to head on down, Tate and Lamb. Tate, roll me a fort save. Do I have to? Yes. 15 plus 2, 17. Hey, you made it. Uh, You wake up without having to throw up immediately. And Lamb, you also wake up. Lamb, you know... I don't think your character would necessarily know what makes Tate's character bewitch you, but you know there's something about his character. But Granted, where there's you're... bewitching going on. I'm going to say you don't necessarily know there's bewitching going on just because of the fact that magic is newer. Normally, yes, that's how that works. But for the sake of the um, uh, story of the world, I'm going to say you don't quite assume it's magic. You might just okay. think it's some sort of crafty wording that gets you in a mood. And then when you wake up, it's one of those, you <laughs> son of a bitch, you did it again. You oh, yeah, no, me. I definitely have a plan right now. <laughs> oh, God. I'm about to be such a dick. <laughs> it, it'd be one of those things which I've never been a part of. But it'd be one of those things of where you've got a friend that's a girl and she goes up to the guy and keeps like, you know, doing whatever to him to make him kind of get in the mood, do something for her. And then she goes, thanks, and walks away. You'd almost treat it like that, where it's almost like she used you, it's still your friend, but it's like, you son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> so he, he's awake already, I'm assuming. Yeah, you both wake up roughly the same time. Has he stood up yet? My head. I don't know. Oh. That's up to Tate to say what happens from there. I'm just saying you wake up roughly the same time. From there, you two have to take it now. Uh, my head. My character would um, sit up at that. Can, can someone that's not busy at the moment see if I'm getting sound on my stream? Like, volume-wise? Like, my voice speaking up? Yeah, let me check here in a minute. My character would sit up at this point. <laughs> at which Sorry. point, character sticks his hand in your face and casts light. God damn it, man. Hold on, we have to wait for Marcus. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I can just fold some shit while well, he's checking. <laughs> Damn it, Lamb. Apparently, I wasn't logged in to uh, Twitch, so I had to re log in. Oh, they forced me to re log in. By the way, the new HTML, HTML5 player is amazing. Aethel Wolf said, I don't even have to go into yours right now. Aethel Wolf said on uh, the chat, that uh, I can hear you. Okay. Um, because I had someone said that they couldn't hear me, so I wanted to just see if it was like on their end or is it just um, on my end so I knew whether or not to adjust the microphone. Because sometimes OBS likes to set like the microphone pick up at like one instead of like the default like three to five. Because I have it set on three originally but every time i relaunch it it sets it back to one so sometimes it makes me a whole lot more quieter really don't know oh. why it doesn't save it okay um what were you two doing there lamb and, and uh tate then my character is such a uh, my head and sat up and then i stuck my hand in her face and cast light <laughs> damn <laughs> <laughs> Brutal murder. <laughs> um. Uh. Tate, roll me a fort <laughs> save, I guess. Five, seven. 
Uh, uh, yeah. Say, you haven't had a hangover yet, but imagine having one of the worst headaches you've ever had going, uh, sitting up and someone takes a flashlight and puts it right over your eyeball and turns it on <laughs> during that horrible headache. That's essentially what just happened. Uh, Go from I've there with how you act. I've had headaches before. Yeah, but not uh, a hangover. No, but I've had migraines, like legit, like pain throbbing. I can't move migraines. It's pretty close to that. <laughs> My character would probably fucking kick at Lamb and just go, What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Says the person who had me carry her up to our room. Tate, the last thing your character. That. The last thing your character remembers is the first drink. Going, I guess, chugging it down, and then your memory gets fuzzy, and you remember there was another drink, you remember there was a dwarf laughing, and uh, you remember hugging Lamb. Not so much falling on him, but hugging him. I, I don't remember that. I remember... Oh, yeah. We hugged. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm oh. just at this point. I'm just gonna leave the room. I've uh, ended the light spell. Wait okay. for me. My character rolls out of bed and just flops on the ground. Or is it first forced to go to to, to term with the uh, cast? Uh, dice. And Kelv was just changing the background. Tate. Uh, Tate, roll me a reflex. In case Damn, out, there was a puke hilarious. bucket right yeah. next to your bed. Oh, Kelb, fuck, you fucking made the dice start wiggling. Plus, Plus what? Hold on. Shh. My reflex is the highest. What the fuck? 13 plus 7. There? Oh, you bitch. Um, alright, you made it. My reflex is fucking ridiculous, and I love all right, so... it like that. Uh, you get out of bed and you land right next to your puke bucket, and, uh, same thing. It's a disgusting thing to, uh, sight to see. Um, would your character puke at the smell in sight? I don't think my character noticed right now. More of just trying to crawl away. <laughs> Alright, so, you roll down, you land next to your puke bucket, you, you, I assume, get up and chase after lamb. Yes? Essentially, I try to, yeah. Okay. Um, at roughly <clears throat> the same time, all six of you get down into the bar area. There's essentially buffet-style scrambled eggs and uh, ham. Do you eat? I am and very... or converse. I am very miffed during breakfast, but not actively hostile. There we go. Apparently that's all that's happening. Going through the buffet, <laughs> I'll grab like a bite size of whatever is like spooned out and anything else, just one piece of it until my plate's full and then head to somewhere. Is your kind of character gonna dispose of the food, or is he actually gonna eat it? It doesn't do he anything for it. you, but I'm gonna say you can taste it, probably, just because, cause magic, yo. <laughs> Unless you'd prefer to have your character I, not be I able would... to taste the things he's throwing into his fake stomach. No, he doesn't taste it. Uh, what if? What if it's just like analytics? He knows what they taste like. Right, he sees the levels of taste and he sees like the chemical compounds of it all and he's like, I see. That's yeah. what it is. These monsters are eating other fleshlings. Interesting. <laughs> anyway. So is that all that happens? Jared's character getting a, a plate uh, full I'm of bite-sized portions? I'm eating, but I'm also, I probably took up on the lady's offerings of the coffee beans. The, the, the legit yeah, the coffee ones that grounds. are drunk, uh, if you go up to get uh, 
D headache Izer, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, roll me a fort save when you drink it. Hey, roll. Twenty-four. I saw that tape. I saw the two. <laughs> Noah, you're fine. Uh, Tate. Echo cooler. You both think it tastes nasty, but uh, yeah. You need to vomit again, Tate. You're holding it back, but it's gonna come. Where do you let out the vomit? Does she have trash cans near her? Trash cans aren't a thing, are they? Not really. Uh, There's a window probably, nearby. Probably out the window. Yeah, we'll go with that. I'm All right, too hot. out the window. You feel better, though. Yeah. My, my hand just goes up. Yeah. Yeah, better. Gotta walk over to her. It's a good thing you did that over there, not near the food. I think you might tell a lot of people angry at you. And walk watch the rest of the group. They're probably drunk too. All of them. Alright, so any other events anyone wishes to have happen before they head off to the Coliseum? Not that I can or, think or of. Or if they wish to go somewhere other than the Coliseum, the one that actually only has to appear for today's events is Des Moises character but it's typically better for the whole team to show up to cheer on their team you don't have to yeah from but... the check room bucket I thought yeah, it was the one and Jared yeah I thought huh? it was Jared as well I thought Jared had an event today too nope today is uh well yeah Jared wait Marcus do you remember what events are for today because it doesn't seem Drink. like you do. <laughs> Drinking is third day, I know that. So. Yeah, today nope. is dodging and magical show-off. I'm seeing who's in it. So, dodging would be me. Yeah. Is there a cat in my room? Yeah, sorry, I have to take Demois off of dodging. Demois is magical show-off and Jared is dodging, so the two of you are the ones that need to actually show up. I should see if there's a fucking After eating, I'd probably head straight there. Alrighty. Anyone else? I would, I would follow him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going with two. After I get a nice helping of scrambled eggs. Mm. Tastes just like the tastes just like the hens back home. Home's eggs. Would you agree? No. What do you do? Lamb. We gotta head on with them. I think it'd be something nice to distract me from sports and fucking headache. So you follow with them then? Yeah. Lamb, ah. what, what are you up to? Um, I pretty. I my guy doesn't eat a lot, so he grabbed like a half helping and probably right around the same area. Did. All right, so you're also heading off with them. Kelp, do you head off with them too, or do you go do uh, something? I, I head with them. All right, so all six of you head off together after getting your uh, amounts of shares that you wish to eat. And you get to the Coliseum, and once again, there's people cheering. Um, and uh, first up would be Jared's character is Zephyr is led off into the ble or, uh, into the locker area. Well, the rest of you are led to your sectioned off bleacher area again does anyone wish to fight or not do this nope okay I just I need to make sure I'm not I don't want to force you I need to make sure if you want to do something different if you want to do something different but <laughs> I can't license to chase a gun. I don't. Alright, so 
you're all sitting there, and once again, from the one room, you're able to see them, and 